Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. Wanted to bring you guys a little update on Litecoin. So we're looking at Litecoin here, guys. It's fifty-three dollars and thirty-eight cents. We're up three point nine three percent. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. If you could hit that like button, I really appreciate it, guys. So we're going to talk about the abnormal volume that we had come in today. So right now we're on the four-hour charts, guys, and what you're seeing here is lower highs being put in. Okay, and you have to remember the trend is still down. Take a look at these moving averages here. Okay, so this was a high, lower high, lower high. You see how we wicked up through here? That's really abnormal volume, guys. No one can predict that right there. We started the fall, and then that abnormal volume came in, wicked all the way up there, and you can see all the profits that were taken, and then closed back down here. But we went right through all those moving averages. We came up and we touched this trend line in red here. And we went right back down so now we are up above the 5 EMA I want you guys to pay attention to those moving averages they're so important so you can see right here is our 5 moving average and then our white one here this is our 20 EMA which is another really good one and it'd be nice to close up above that we want to see closes above that and then our overhead resistance we have our 50 moving average which is around 5483 and then we have our 100 day moving average at 5697 and that's about where guys were taking profits up here so guys this is crypto you see how quick these moves can come we had the the candle of doom here that came in and then over here we had basically the same amount of volume come in to the upside there but you can see guys are taking profits there so that's something to really pay attention to but these things you, they look like the towers here you know where they really match each other but we all know that this game is manipulated it's the wild wild west and that's what we have to deal with so there's going to be really sharp volatile moves which are going to come in and guys you can also see the rsi right now is pointing up so we got to pay attention to that and that's again on the four hour let's take a look at these on the eight on the 8 hour, our RSI is at 44, pointing north still. On the 1 day, let's take a look at that, guys. So we basically had that little tweezer bottom right here. Then we came up, we had a doji. And now we have, if we can close where we're at here, this would be a bullish engulfing candle of this candle right here. This is pointing north on the day, which is good. Let's really zoom in here, guys, and you can see we wicked right up to that trend line. That's how important trend lines are, and you, you can't buck the trend. That's what I want everyone to pay attention to. You, you can't buck the trend. We've all tried to do it, so when you're playing these moves, you have to know a lot of the times that you're going to get in and you're going to get out real quick because you're going counter trend if you're trying to long. If you're shorting, look at this, guys. So you see this little equilibrium pattern here, and look when it broke. So when guys saw it break right here, people were entering shorts, and it got pushed down. So just really pay attention to this stuff because you can learn so much just from doing some studying, looking at other people's stuff. So it's a really big deal, guys. But we want to close right now up above this 5 EMA would be really nice if we could get a close up above that and also above this candle here for that bullish engulfing candle and see if we can get some volume to break up out of this trend line. That's what has to happen. Otherwise, we're going to be looking to a break to the downside. You can see I have some alerts here, 49, 42, just to kind of see what's going on, guys, because remember this hammer candle here kind of started this whole little run that we had. And then um, we had this fall right there. So we'll see, guys. It's just, uh, just a matter of time. And then we can also look at the Fibonacci. So let's take it from the bottom right here. See how far we fell. So guys, we went exactly right down here to the 786 right there when we started to make this move up. And Fibonacci is so very important, guys. Something that we really have to pay attention to. So really pay attention to that. And then we're also going to pull the Fibonacci from the other direction. And what have you guys been doing? Have you been buying, selling, hodling? Okay. So guys, it would be great if we could close up above the 236. That's a hard one to get over top of. Get rejected by it a lot. You can kind of see here where we went up and we got rejected by it. So even right here on that doji, went up, got rejected by it. So if we could close above that, that would be a big deal. But we got a lot of work here. We got the 236 and we also have this trend line. And the moving average is up above head. So remember the raging river.
it's something so crucial to pay attention to is that raging river which way are those moving averages going and are they overhead or, or are they acting as support really pay attention to the moving averages guys and you can see how I set up my chart here I got that um, trading view pro so we could all get some more indicators on here which is nice but I use the 5 EMA I use the volume obviously I use the 20 EMA the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average and there's a lot of times I'll look at the 200 moving average as well I can't get enough indicators to also keep the RSI on there so that one I just look at pull and then pull it back off and then I love to use um, the RSI down here I, I'm an RSI guy MACD Fibonacci that type of stuff and you guys know candles that's something that I, I really put put in a lot of work to understand patterns of candles different things like that so you know you guys they can make you a lot of money take a look at this hammer candle here look how long that wick was that was the bull stepping in right there and then we had positive confirmation of this this candle here engulfed that so that was basically like a bullish engulfing candle off a hammer and then we made a move up and then you can see this doji candle right there so that was that indecision and then we had a hanging man and then we got pushed back down so it's really important to pay attention to these candles because they can tell you a lot. And there's a lot of guys who can even trade basically off candles and just RSI. So it's a really big deal, guys. And uh, just wanted to come on here. Haven't been here in a while. And uh, wanted to tell you that I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And uh, God bless each and every one of you. And please leave down there what you guys are doing, buying, selling. It's always great to hear from you. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. God bless you all.